On May 12, Terra Luna continued to free fall, losing 99% in 5 weeks and is selling at 10 cents. According to the statement, traders' sentiment remains at an all-time low and investors have practically stopped believing in this asset. It is reported that the fall is most likely caused by an attack on the project by BlackRock and Citadel. 100,000 Bitcoin from Gemini. This data is reported in their credit book. After that, in exceptional of the attack, the Kuwait exchanged 25,000 bitcoins for UST. When the hour arrived, they called Doc One from the Terra Foundation and offered to sell a lot of bitcoin for UST. Since it was a big deal, they told him they didn't want to move the market and asked him if he would like to buy their big block of bitcoin at a discount with UST. Doc One took the bait and gave them a huge chunk of UST, terribly significantly reducing the liquidity of UST. After that, they dumped all Bitcoin and UST, causing a massive drop and a cascade of liquidations. In addition to this, the crowd also unnobly helped in this matter. It is worth nothing that different people Twitter accounts posted the same text, which may be related to the bot attack on Terra. Real Vision CEO Raul Paul said the recent problem with the algorithmic stablecoin Terra UST could lead to new stablecoin regulation. In new interview with Bankless, the Former Goldman Sachs executive said UST's recent loss of its big peg to this US dollar is part of the parcel of most financial markets. UST is designed to remain pegged to the US dollar throughout an Asia and burn mechanism that theoretically allows holder to exchange one UST for one dollar Luna. Paysols that a UST situation could be used by regulators as a reason to introduce new rules and restrictions on stablecoins. He added that the representatives of the crypto industry will not be happy about this, but is probably a necessary step for the industry. I think this will lead to a mistake. I always thought that the government doesn't want unregulated stablecoins. They need central bank digital currencies, whether private or public sector. The problem is that if we use borrow someone else's currency that we have to play their game whenever we like it or not. This is their currency.